What is up, guys? You know what day it is. Today is Friday. It is Classy Friday. Actually, let me button this up real quick. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice and classy right there. You know, because not every day, to, you don't need a tie to be classy, you know? You can be classy in just a nice little, nice, fresh coloring shirt. Anyway, I am going to play some OU right now something I don't normally do, but something I do like to do is play a lot of weather. Weather is perhaps my favorite thing, that and trick room, like things that you can set up for a couple turns and take advantage of. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, it just suits my play style really well. So today I'm bringing you a dual weather team called Rain for Days. We got ourselves a Assault Vest Tyranitar, a Choice Specs Politoed, a Leftovers Sand Rush uh, Excadrill, take advantage of that sand. Uh, we've got Goof the Gudra, which is a Blame Truth's move set and EV spread, but with uh, Hydration instead of Sap Sipper for the rain. Uh, Scizor, Mega Scizor, uh, and uh, gonna block that out. And we have um, Life Orb, the Fable, the Boy, Chin Wonder himself. Let's look for a battle. Okay, this guy's got, looks like mostly UU team, he's got a, he's got a Mian a Tornadus Therian, a Amoongus, a Lomomola, so he's got that Regenerator core, which I do not like to see. He's got the Mamoswine and the Clefable. Let's see, do I want to start with Sand, or do I want to start with Rain? I'm predicting the Mian Shao to come out first, so I'm going to set up some rain real quick. He doesn't know what HF means. Have fun. So he leads with the Clefable, interestingly enough. Now I know no one runs the fully offensive Clefable that me and my pals do. So I doubt he's going to go for the Thunderbolt right now. He's probably either switching or going for some kind of Cosmic Power shenanigans. So I think I'm just going to go for the nice Rain Boost Stab, Choice Specs Scald, which will do a lot of damage to this thing or whatever decides to come in. Taking a nice 51% from that as he goes for a Cosmic Power. He does have the leftovers, so I won't be able to take him out with this next hit. But I don't know what he's going to do to me, other than maybe set up another cosmic power. And then I get the burn, although he probably has magic guard. Oh, he's got the moonlight, but that doesn't help with the rain. Uh, let's go quickly go into skiz. So I can probably take this guy out with a nice bullet punch. If he goes for another moonlight. Mega Evolve, that Bullet Punch. Nice and 53%. As he goes for the Flamethrower, but I can take that. That's why I have the rain. That's why I have the rain. Now, he can either go down to this Bullet Punch or switch out, which he does, and be alone with Mola, which probably is going to give me a Rocky Helmet. Oh, no, maybe not. Uh, in that case, I am going to go into Tyrantrum, <laughs> which is my name for Tyranitar. Take that Skull like a champ. Thankfully, you don't get the burn. And start doing some residual damage to this Alone Mola. I'm really fearing the burn, that's the only thing. Let's go into Rain for Days real quick. Set up the rain. Take the Toxic. Didn't want to take the Toxic, but my eventual goal was to get into Goof with the Rain Up so I can be nice and bulky and get the rest hydration going. Got that some good stuff right there. Oh, he switches into the Amoongus. Not bad. I'm just going to go for the Dragon Tail. He goes for a Toxic, which I do not mind. Do not mind at all. Into the Mian Shao. Poison is cured thanks to hydration. 
he's probably got a nice and powerful hit coming. I'm just gonna go for the earthquake. Yeah, there's the fake out, which I don't mind. I see the life orb. Or oh, you could U-turn or something. I'm gonna curse. Goes with a high jump kick and takes me out. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of that whole time. Let's go into Boy Chin, because I doubt he has anything for me. And let's just go straight for a moon blast. Sorry about that vibration. In comes his Uncle Fable, which will go down to this moon blast. Sorry to have lost Goof so early, but, well, that's why you play Pokemon. You gotta adapt to the situation that's presented to you. Now, uh, Boy Chin Wonder actually has a lot of attacks for his entire team, which will be really nice. He could go into Mian Shao and go for the fake out again. I'm interested. Okay, there we go. In comes the Tornado Therian. I'm gonna show the Ice Beam right now. I don't want to show the Thunderbolt yet because I want to l lure in the Aloma Mola in the future. Goes with the Hurricane and actually hits it and gets a lot of damage and confuses me. And I hit myself in my confusion. That's brutal. That's just brutal, brutal, brutal. Probably could have taken him out if I had not gotten confused or broken through the confusion. Let's see, he hits his next hurricane, which is unfortunate. Right, now I go into Tyrantrum. A nice and powerful pursuit. Nice 56%. In comes the Aloma Mola. Um, don't want anything else getting toxic or anything like that. He goes for a skull, which I can take. And now I can go for the HP grass. Hopefully he doesn't switch. He does switch into the Amoongus, which is gonna take this like a champ and force me to switch. But I can very safely go into scissor. I'm gonna have to call, uh, block that out again. Goes for the hidden power. Not sure what type of hidden power that is, but I feel like going for a roost. May have been hidden power fire. And roost up. Oh, alright. You're gonna have to block that out too. Sorry for the noise. I'm gonna go for the knockoff here. Probably shouldn't. No, too late. Get off rid of his leftovers as he goes for the skull. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Thank God. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Now, we go into Tyrantrum. I know it sounds confusing when I say Tyrantrum, but I mean Tyranitar. Whew. So in comes Tyranitar. Taking the skull. Don't get burned, don't get burned, don't get burned. Let's go for a Stone Edge. He goes for a Wish. I miss my Stone Edge, of course. Whew. Brutal, brutal stuff. I'm gonna go for another Stone Edge as he hits a Toxic. Can't quite take him out, as he's gonna get the Wish this turn too. So I am in a pretty bad position, to be honest. Yeah, he has definitely got the upper hand. It's going to rain. I'm going to start the timer because he's taking that over.
Alright, I'm gonna pause this until he... Alright, we're back. He decided to go for a wish as I brought in my Politoed. What did it do? Sorry, that was a long break. Uh, yeah, I sent in my Politoed as he wished. I don't know what he's gonna... He's definitely get out of here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. He's got... Uh, maybe he'll pass it to Tornadus? Or just stay in? I mean... <sighs> Do we go for it, predicting? No, he stays in. Ooh, that was nice damage. But the, the wish is just too much. In comes the Amoongus. Taking the skull pretty nicely. Gets the burn though, thankfully. And now I can go into Skiz while this thing is in. Pretty easily. Let's make it with a hidden power. I'm pretty sure there's probably hidden power fire or something. Maybe it's hidden power grass? I don't know. No, it's, it is super effective, so it's probably fire. Gonna go for the roost right now. As the Aloma Mola comes in, there's just nothing I can do to this Aloma Mola. I lose to this thing, basically. I'm just going to go for the Bug Bite, get as much damage as I can as he goes for the Scald, and we'll probably get the burn this turn. Yeah, there it is. And that is GG, pretty much. Like, I can just keep going for Bug Bites, and he's just going to wish. Like, Alright, I don't want to sit through this. This is just dumb. Like I don't want he like just just finish me off. Like don't just sit there and wish. <sighs> Exit out of that, and let's find another one. Okay, he, this guy's got Heatran, Mega Medicham, I'm sure. Uh, Mew. Uh, his he got his own Tyrantrum, an Azumarill, and a. Thunderous Therian, I believe. Let's lead with... This guy gave me a winky face. Let's lead with the rain. He leads with the Mew. Okay, now he says same. I'm just gonna go for the Skull. He goes for the Giga Drain, interesting. I go for a Skull and take him almost down. But I can go into Goof and take this incoming Giga Drain pretty well. Yeah. No problem. Now I can go for a Dragon Tail. Go for a Roost. And with a Dragon Tail, he is probably physically defensive, that's what I would guess. And now the Azumarill comes in. I don't want anything to do with that. Uh, let's go into Skiz. Goes for the Play Rough, which I can take nicely. Can't take the water type moves that well. I'm pretty, I, don't, I don't think I will. Uh, let's go for a Bullet Punch. Heat Rain comes in. Takes the Bullet Punch pretty nicely. Uh, I can easily go into Tyrantrum. Take the Flamethrower easily. Don't get burned. Good, good, good. And... You can go for an Earthquake in case he wants to stay in. He does not want to stay in, and he does make the right play going out into his Thunderous, taking that like a champ. But I'm going to go for the Stone Edge. Ooh, he has the Focus Blast, but I can take that. And I missed the Stone Edge. Oh, that's why I hate Stone Edge so much. We can go into Goof here, take the incoming Focus Miss, and go for a Curse. Here comes the Mew as I set up a Curse. The rain stops, but I have no problem going for a nice and powerful Dragon Tail. 
What did this thing do before? No, it has Giga Drain. And Roost. Ooh, it has Ice Beam. Dragon Tail. Nice and crit. In comes the Thunderous. I'll Dragon Tail again. Don't know what this thing's gonna want to do. He could go into the Azumarill pretty easily. And he goes into the Mew. I'll take it out with another crit. Wow. Uh, I don't know who Vacate is. And now he brings in the Azumarill. As I go into... I don't want to set the rain for him. I'm going to Skiz pretty easily. He goes for the knockoff, which doesn't knock off my Mega Stone, so. I'm going to go for the nice and powerful Roost. As he brings in his Heatran, I'm sure. And now I can easily bring in Tyrantrum. He goes for the Will O Wisp, not even bad. Predicting. Probably, maybe he could like. That wasn't even a bad play to go on scissors either. So, I uh, could go into Mole Man. Although he, there's a chance he will go for a flamethrower of some kind. Let's just go into Goof. He does go for the flamethrower, so the good thing I didn't go into Mole Man. Does get the burn again! <sighs> okay, I do have rest. I do have rest. So instead of one curse first. No, it's not. Let's rest now. It's me the flash cannon. I will rest that off. Thankfully, get rid of the burn, but I will not wake up anytime soon, so. Let's go into rain for days as he brings in his Medicham. And I can go for a nice Scald. You're probably going to go for Fake Out though. It's pretty standard Medicham at this point. Goes for the Drain Punch and actually takes me out. Uh, but Boychin Wonder comes in pretty easily. And hits him with a moon blast. He might have the bullet punch, but I'm pretty sure I can take one of those. He does switch into the Azumarill. The moon blast is not doing much, but I do have Thunderbolt. And I'm pretty sure I outspeed. Yes, I do, but he takes it. He takes it. Wow. Might go for the Aqua Jet now. So let's go into Goof. Yep, there's the Aqua Jet. I can take one. Oh, and the rain runs out just when I don't want it to. Well, let's go into Skiz now. He goes for the play rough. Not bad. Now, go for a Bullet Punch. Heat Rain comes in. Nah, don't even mind. Let's go into Goof. So I just need Goof to wake up and hit that Earthquake. Ooh, he pulls the double into his Medichain. Not bad. Yeah, this thing is a problem. I do need to hold on to Goof for the Heat Ran, so I'm going to go into my Tyrantrum as he sets up a sub. That's unfortunate for me. I cannot break his sub. Ooh, he gets bulk up, so that's pretty much game over, isn't it? Yeah, that's GG. Man. The battle I did right before I started recording, I got a nice clean 6-0. <sighs> so 
Our entrance goes down to the burn. I can't outspeed him with this, actually. He's at two times defense, though. But let's hit him with that earthquake. Our, pretty much our only chance. Uh, he takes it and he hits me with a drain punch for the win with a crit to seal it off. Oh boy. I doubt I can take him out. Yep, he's just gonna finish me off with drain punches. Oh, GG, man, GG. Psycho cut. Nice and crit. Goof comes out. Go for the dragon tail. Takes me out. GG. God damn, I can't win. I can't win? <laughs> GG men. That guy's creepy as hell. I don't get it. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, we gotta get a win in this match. We have to get a win. We just we have to. Let me take a sip of this. Okay. This guy has a Gyarados, Melodic, Entei. Latias, Landorus, and Balloon. Um, Balloon is a likely lead. So let's lead with this thing. Get up the rain. Oh, all right, all right, and take him down. Let's go for a nice and powerful scald. Actually, my lotic, sh my lotic should be coming in. It should be. I'm gonna go for the hidden power. Berloom comes in. What? <laughs> I guess that's not bad. But skills can come in. He goes for the leech seed. Which I'm not very happy about. But I don't mind. Let's go for our bug bite. He goes for the protect. Interesting. I've not seen protect on Berloon before. And it's actually going to cause a lot of trouble for me. Who would he go into to take a bug bite? Pretty much Landers or... Or... What's it called? Gyarados. I'm going to go in board Shin. He goes into the Gyarados. So not bad, not bad. We can just go straight for the Thunderbolt. He might predict me to go for a Moonblast, predicting him to Mega Evolve. So I'm going to just go straight for the Thunderbolt. He goes with the Dragon. <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad. Get that Thunderbolt. Boom. Four times effective. Gyarados goes down, and the rain stops. Whew. Oh, okay. We needed that. We needed that. Wow, I've never seen someone run T-Bolt on before. Nice choice. Thank you. Thanks. Now, Landers comes in. Ice Beam. Rock Polish. Ice Beam. <laughs> oh, the boy. Shin Wonder. <laughs> uh, boy, Shin Wonder. Still the new meta. Still the new meta. Now we bring in Politoed and get the rain up as he goes for a Sacred Fire. That doesn't... I forget if that burns or not, but I don't get burned. And it doesn't do that much. I can go for a Scald. He might go into Berloom again. Oh, he just... Oh, I'm out of the late. Not bad, not bad. 
So we kind of get a win there. Somebody learns a little bit about Clefable and how you can run an offensive life orb set with Magic Guard. But that's kind of the note I wanted to end on with today's Classic Friday. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, that's all for today. <laughs> that's all for today, dreamers. Keep dreaming, and of course, keep it classy. Peace.